If you've ever wondered whether washing your hands with hand sanitizer was as effective as washing your hands with soap, well, keep watching because we're about to find out together. Hey guys, my name is Stacy. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, be sure that you are subscribed, that you like this video, and you leave me a comment down in the comment section down below. Let's get started. So for a little bit of time now, I've been wondering if using hand sanitizer on my hands was going to be as effective as using soap and obviously the traditional way of washing your hands. Now more than ever, it's so important to have good hygiene when we're out and about. And I've always wondered whenever I had the kids use hand sanitizer or myself after going to the store when we're out and about, in between trips, I always put on hand sanitizer on myself as well as the kiddos if they're with me. However, in the back of my mind, I always wondered if it's more effective to actually wash our hands. So of course I went ahead and I purchased a Petri dish set from Amazon and I decided to conduct my own little experiment utilizing hand sanitizer as well as hand soap. The test subjects were on myself as well as my husband. So the very first things that we did was we swabbed our hands. We actually came back from a long day and then my husband husband ended up doing a lot of yard work. So when we swapped his hands, obviously the bacteria on his Petri dish had a lot more bacteria than mine. I then went ahead and I asked him to just go ahead and wash his hands with soap as he normally would. And then we swapped his Petri dish. For my hands, we did the same process. We swabbed my hands, I put that on a Petri dish, and then I went ahead and I actually used the hand sanitizer as I normally would, rubbed it into my hands, and then we swabbed again once they were dry and let the bacteria grow for about five days. The results were actually pretty shocking to me. I expected my husband's hands, the ones that utilized hand soap, to be a lot cleaner than mine because he used the hand soap, which is antibacterial. He also used warm water, and he actually physically was supposed to wash the bacteria off of his hands. I, on the other hand, obviously just used my hand sanitizer, which is 80% alcohol. It also has hydrogen peroxide in there as well. And I basically just rubbed that into my hand. There was no washing of anything off. So after I examined the Petri dishes, I found it pretty interesting that actually his soap Petri dish had more bacteria than my hand sanitizer petri dish so it appeared as if the hand sanitizer actually killed more bacteria so i was a little bit perplexed at that so i decided to do another little experiment on the side i took the petri dish with my husband's bacteria and I took the petri dish with my bacteria as well and what I decided to do I decided that I would take the bacteria that had already grown on the petri dishes using a little syringe I would use the hand sanitizer onto one petri dish of the bacteria and then I would use the soap dilute that with a little bit of water just as if I was washing my hands I would use that solution and I would spray directly onto the bacteria of the other petri dish and just kind of see what happens and what kind of reaction happens when the sanitizer hits the bacteria versus when the soap hits the bacteria. What I found was actually interesting. I noticed that as I was swirling the hand soap in the petri dish with the bacteria, I did notice that the bacteria was washing away. However, it did take more time. It looked like that the longer I waited and let the soap sit, that it was gradually removing or killing the bacteria. Now, in contrast to the petri dish with the hand sanitizer, I noticed the bacteria started to get smaller a little bit sooner and faster than the petri dish with the hand soap. So what I'm thinking is happening is that the alcohol that is in the hand sanitizer is actually physically killing the bacteria a lot faster than what the hand soap would. So my final takeaways after doing this experiment is that both methods work and both the hand sanitizer as well as the soap kill the bacteria off of your hands. However, the amount of time that it takes the soap to kill the bacteria is significantly longer. And what you're doing is that you are physically actually washing that bacteria, those germs, off of your hands with the soap as well as the water versus with the hand sanitizer the alcohol is actually penetrating is killing the germs and bacteria almost instantly so hand soap is effective in killing those germs and getting your hands clean however it does take longer which makes complete sense why they recommend that you wash your hands for at least two minutes also utilizing warm water and the hand sanitizer actually does kill the germs 
faster, but what it's not going to do is it's not going to leave your hands feeling squeaky clean like regular washed hands would. Hand sanitizer isn't getting rid of the debris, the dust, and kind of giving you that overall clean hand feeling, but what it is doing is it's killing the germs, it's killing the bacteria pretty much instantly. So my final takeaway from all of this is that when you're in the car, when you're on the go, and you can't wash your hands, hand sanitizer is going to do an awesome job of actually getting your hands clean when we're talking about in terms of germs and bacteria. When you're at home, wash your hands with soap when you have the time to, you know, really take those two minutes to really scrub your hands clean. Rest assured that both methods are going to get your hands clean if done properly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was informational to you guys. Be sure that you are subscribed and I'll see you guys in my next one.